this morning I'm going to be sowing some fennel. This is actually bulb fennel. There is a, another fennel you can grow, which is herb fennel, but this is the fennel that creates uh, quite a large bulb at the base. It's not actually a bulb as, as, as say an onion or a garlic. It's more just a concentration of the leaves. Um, so what you get then is a, a, a big white bulb, inverted commas, at the end, and then you get this feathery foliage coming out on top. And um, it tastes a little bit like aniseed. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with it, boil it, grill it, steam it. Um, and it does need a little bit of care when you're, you're growing it um, because it can bolt very easily. Uh, it's probably best to grow it directly into the soil. Um, you can do that in May through to July and uh, harvest really from late July right into October. Um, but because it is prone to bolting, you need to be a little bit careful with it. Um, you can start it off in pots in April, uh, which I'm going to do now, but it doesn't like root disturbance. So the important thing is, is not to sow too many together. So all I'm going to do here is sow one seed in each cell of this modular cell tray. So just some multiple purpose compost, compost first. Pop that in there like that. And when you look at the seeds, you can see that they're quite small, not unlike grass seeds when you look at them. So I'm just going to pop one in each cell, about half an inch deep, like that. They're quite easy to handle actually, even though they are small. So just one in each cell, pop those there. Cover them with some more multi-purpose compost um, and then you can just water it in. So if you're starting off in a greenhouse or polytunnel in April, um, let them grow obviously and really not thinking about planting them out until there's a good, good root structure in there and you can then plant them out end of May, probably when all risk of frost has gone. If you're planting directly into the ground, um, you will need to thin them out to about um, nine inches between each one. Um, the important thing is, over the summer and the early growing period as well, is to make sure that you, you water them, because if, if they don't get enough moisture, they will tend to bolt. Um, not the end of the world because you can always use the, the feathery foliage uh, that comes out of, of the top, but keep them well watered and also might be a good idea to um, apply a mulch around them just to keep, keep everything moist. When they're ready, about three or four inches in width, um, you can slice the tops off and maybe then harvest them about 20, 20 days later. And then you can do all sorts of things with them, you know, say steam them, grill them, boil them, whatever. Um, but, you know, quite a nice little garnish as well if you want a, a kind of aniseed flavour from the fo foliage on top. So if you haven't tried them before, give them a go.